Well, hi there, dear friend. As we come to the end of the month of May, I wanted to just take a moment to remind you that we're trusting the Lord between now and May 31st to provide a significant amount, $828,000 total, to help us finish up our fiscal year end, not only in the black, but to be prepared to move into this year ahead and to know what the Lord has provided so we can know what opportunities we can plan on taking advantage of in the coming months. First of all, let me just say a huge thank you to every person who's already given to help toward that need. I understand there are over 3,000 thus far, some giving just a few dollars, some giving many more dollars. It's not the size of the gift. It's the heart of the giver that means so much to us. And every one of those gifts matters and is important in helping us not only get toward the goal, but it's an investment in the lives of thousands of women around the world that will be transformed by the power of His Word and the message of freedom and fullness and fruitfulness in Christ in the months ahead. So thank you if you've already given. Maybe you've been thinking about it and thinking, I want to have a part in this um, month of May need, and you just haven't had a chance to get to it yet. Well, now would be a good time to do that. And we're believing that the Lord is going to provide exactly what He knows we need to move forward in this ministry. I could not be more encouraged right now over what God is doing in so many fronts. I had a chance of meeting this week with our uh, ambassadors, 38 of them who were here in Michigan for an annual summit, and to hear story after story from these dedicated volunteers from all over the United States and other parts of the world, to hear their stories of what God is doing in their own lives and in the lives of women that they're ministering to in churches everywhere. It was precious to see that. And then I had a conversation this morning with a friend who's been impacted by the, the conference we just had in Mexico not long ago, the uh, Mujer Verdadera conference, and to think of 8,000 women there who were being equipped and encouraged in their walk with the Lord and are now around the world in 36 different countries multiplying this message to women who not only speak Spanish, but many other languages as well. I'm thinking of the reports that are coming into us about partnerships with the, where we're able to get the message into Vietnamese and Mandarin and now Cambodian and uh, in the country of Cambodia. And again, in other parts of the world as people are praying for revival, as they're praying for the hearts of women to be reached in these very difficult, desperate, fearful times, God is alive, He is well, and His Spirit is moving, and we're so thrilled to have a part of that, to see what God is doing through the daily podcasts and broadcasts now in multiple languages, the resources we're able to seed into the hearts of women around the world. It's such a joy. God is increasing our staff, He's increasing our volunteers, He's increasing the fruit and the harvest of what we're sowing into those lives, and you are a part of that through your prayers, through your financial support, through your encouragement, through your sharing of these resources and this message with others. So again, we're trusting the Lord to provide what we need here in the month of May. If you'd like to make a gift, now would be a good time to do that. And just ask the Lord, what would you want me to give toward that need? What part would you want me to have at this time? And whatever it is, whatever God puts on your heart, that's that's what you should do, and that's what we'll thank him for. So blessings on you. Thank you for having a heart for this mission, this message, and this ministry. And my prayer is that you will experience an even greater measure of freedom and fullness and fruitfulness in Christ in this season of your life. Thanks so much, and blessings on you.